Hey everyone, my name is Rodney and I'm just a big boned. This is day 26 of my weight loss journey and uh, I'm just getting ready now to head out to work but just wanted to give you an update let you know that I am on four perfect days for the week so I haven't missed a day yet which is amazing, I'm still on track and uh, last night I had a really really nice dinner made myself a, uh, a nice pasta and I recorded it just for you guys. So let's take a look. Welcome back to the kitchen for another Big Bone Cooking School. And today I am doing a carbonara, which is a traditional Italian pasta. And this one goes out to Christina of Christina's Random Videos and Weight Loss uh, channel. Uh, thank you so much for all the uh, support you've been giving me. Your comments are really, really helping me. And you've asked for a pasta recipe. So here it is. This is a really quick, uh, really quick wet recipe you can whip up in, you know, less than 20 minutes. And it's only got a few ingredients. I do just want to add as a disclaimer, this is not a traditional carbonara recipe. This is actually taken from the, the man page recipe and I'm using the ingredients they said all with the exception of soy pasta simply because I couldn't find it at the supermarket so I am using wholemeal pasta um, but otherwise you use soy pasta and they call it a low carb carbonara but if there's any Italians out there you might be shaking your head going no this is not how you do a traditional carbonara if you have any any criticism, please direct it to the man page. This is not my recipe. It is theirs. And uh, please don't sick your nonas onto me. So I've just got some olive oil that's heating up in a pan there. And uh, put my hand over it. I can feel the heat. So I think that's going to be, be ready. And I'm adding some sliced onions first. It's good when you hear the sizzle. Here. Go in. There we go, and we're going to cook this until it is nice and brown. Just make sure you break it up there. Try not to get any that, that spills over. Right, nice and brown and soft. Right, so that onion's looking lovely and brown now. Normally, too, the, the recipe says to put in some garlic as well. But when I check the jar of minced garlic, it's got nearly 20% sugar in it. So I can't have it on my plan. So I'm just going to leave it out. Next, I'm going to add in some mushrooms. Now, this is also not part of the traditional recipe. So I'm sorry, Nonna. And what we want to do is we want to cook these mushrooms until they're soft. If it looks like I'm making a lot for one person. Uh, this is also going to be for my wife and son, so I'm cooking some for them as well. Right, so mushrooms are looking brown and they're a bit, they're a bit soft. They're going to keep cooking though. So what we're going to add now is the bacon. So add a whole heap of bacon in there. Alright. And we're going to cook this bacon until it's nice and crispy. So while that bacon's cooking, I'm also just going to quickly make the sauce. Now, I was surprised as well when I first learned that traditionally carbonara is not made with that cream sauce like we've all gotten at the pub bistros. It's usually just made with egg and cheese. So it's what we're going to make it out of today. So recipe says one egg, but I think I might use two just to be on the safe side. The egg, crack them into a bowl. And then we get the cheese. Get some Parmesan cheese. Get a uh, fresh block like this because I like grating it myself. And just grate that into the egg. Right, 
It's the whole heap. Alright. And we're just going to whisk that all up. We call this the cream. The reason why restaurants often use dairy cream instead of this is because once you cook this, you're pretty much going to eat it straight away. If you leave it, it's all going to stick together and become gluey. But if you use dairy cream, it doesn't do that. So that's why they do it. But we're going to eat this straight away today because I am hungry. Make sure you get the see how it's sticking. Make sure you get that in. And there we go. This is the cream for our pasta. Now I pre-cooked the pasta already, mainly because we don't have two stove tops. Uh, but just cook it according to packet instructions, and then it can just wait here until we're ready to add it to the pasta. Fun trivia question for you. Spaghetti is actually the plural, but what is the singular term? Is it A, spaghettini, or B, spaghetto? Leave your comments below and I will let you know the answer in tomorrow's video. So when you're happy with the bacon, remember we're still gonna cook a bit, and we're going to add the pasta. So get that in there, pick it up and dunk it in. I have a feeling I may have cooked too much. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. There's more that can go in, but I think that's too much. Alright, make sure you get some of that uh, cooking water in there as well. If you heard the thing, because that's going to help with our, with our sauce. And give it a really good, really good mix. All right, so this next bit is the trickiest bit. We're going to add the sauce. Now, the reason why it's tricky is because you've got to have really good timing because you don't want the eggs to scramble. So we're actually going to turn the heat off. We're going to add a little bit more cooking water because that is going to stop the, the frying. Now I'm going to add Add the sauce. I'm gonna mix that around till it goes all thick and creamy, but not not scrambled eggs. Obviously, it has to be hot enough too. So we're gonna finish it off with some more Parmesan cheese. good and we're gonna add some black pepper as well oh, look at that doesn't that look good now for the all-important taste test Yeah, that's really nice. I think I think I'm really supposed to use one egg. I think it's a bit too saucy for what it's supposed to be, but it doesn't taste like raw egg, which is great. You can taste all the flavors there. The wheat, whole wheat pasta is good. The whole meal pasta, sorry. Never had whole meal pasta before either. It tastes like regular pasta. really happy with how that turned out 
that was a great cabanara and uh, I couldn't actually finish the whole thing. I think I made a bit too much, but uh, you know, that's what we do with, with pasta. I've just got to work, so I've got a, a big meeting uh, this morning, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, please follow me and hit subscribe and follow me on my journey because I need all the help and support I can get. Tomorrow, I'm going to try a new Manshake flavor, so please don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching and just remember I'm not fat, I'm just big boned.